Civil Society 1.5 C Target Civil Society Unites at COP28 urges global commitment to 1.5 C Target and compensation for most vulnerable countries, Dubai, UAE. Civil Society Leaders of Most Vulnerable Countries MVCs on Sunday the 10th of December here demanded the commitment to keep global temperature rise under 1. 5 Celsius and lessening the damage caused by climate change, especially in the most vulnerable countries. They raised the demand at a press conference held at the COP28 Climate Conference Center in Dubai on the sideline of the ongoing COP28 Global Climate Conference. The press conference, titled Civil Society Demands on Keeping the Commitment of Global Temperature to 1. 5 Celsius and demanding compensation to the MVCs was organized by OSED. Representatives from various national and international civil society organizations CSOs including Dr. Emet Adli R.A.E.D. John Hazen Massam CDP, Mohamed Zaber Hazendorp, and Jocelyn Perry Refugees International attended in the conference. The keynote address was presented by Shami Marfin, Executive Director of AOSED, Bangladesh, in the, the press conference moderated by Saeed Aminul Hoke from Coast Foundation. In the keynote presentation, Arfin has welcomed everyone on the occasion of International Human Rights Day on the 10th of December and stressed the critical. need for global cooperation in addressing the challenge of limiting global temperature rise to 1. 5 Celsius and mitigating the adverse effects of climate change, particularly in vulnerable nations. Despite the commitments made in the 2015 Paris Agreement, these nations continue to face severe impacts such as rising sea levels and extreme weather events. The keynote highlighted the responsibility of developed nations to support vulnerable countries through financial assistance, technology sharing, and capacity building, emphasizing the promise made in the Paris Agreement to provide $100 billion annually for climate action in developing countries and ensure human rights. The demands presented in the keynote included calls for developed nations to commit to a transparent roadmap aligned with the principles of common but Thank you, differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities cbdr and rc accelerate discussions on the global goal on adaptation gga urgently increase adaptation funds advocate for a new collective and quantified goal on climate finance, implement the global decarbonization accelerator, and establish measures for displacement management from a human rights perspective. Dr. Emet Adli opined that finance doesn't reflect the minimum requirements, so we have to support the development agencies to build their capacity to implement their interventions in a more effective way. Report by International DEX. Adam Black, Vo7 News.